Burning Man is turning 30, man, but it's having growing pains. The annual festival in the desert began on Sunday. The event is described as an experiment in community and art. But festival regular Trek Thunder Kelly, does he sound like a regular, <laughs> describes it this way. Imagine that you've taken the red pill in the Matrix and walked into Alice in Wonderland on the planet Tatooine. You can have free waffles with a crew dressed like Elvis, make jewelry in a Bedouin tent, learn how to pole dance, and take a seminar on making absinthe. You know, that's funny. I have all those things listed on my bucket list just after dying. <laughs> <laughs> Attendees are asked to live by 10 principles, which include radical inclusivity, gifting, and decommodification, a word I had to look up on my new iPad. <laughs> but many say the spirit of Burning Man has been ruined by rich people who pay thousands of dollars to have first-class accommodations set up for them, including tents with showers, air conditioning, and private chefs. But look what Burning Man founder Larry Harvey has to say about that. Scan Burning Man's 10 principles and you will not find radical equality among them. This is because our city has always been a place where old and young, rich and poor can live on common ground. But common ground is not a level playing field and should not be interpreted as mandating equal living conditions. That sounds very conservative of him. Maybe I will consider attending. With that many people, I'm sure I can find three fellas that love harmony. <laughs> Uh, Deirdre, what do you think? Burning Man, first of all, no what do you think of this festival? Interest, first of all, I'm sorry. No <laughs> offense to anybody who likes it. Zero interest. This feels like everyone all together is the group of people that I have always really made strides to get away from collectively. There's just nothing in here. But people love it. I think I'm, I grew up on the East Coast. I feel like you have to be from the West Coast. It is West Coast, it. isn't it? Yes. So that just proves I need to stay in the Northeast. But you know a lot of Silicon Valley types, I right? I do. They, they love, love it. it. They love it. Indeed, they, yeah. this is this is everything. It's like Cirque du Soleil meets Coachella, meets Art Basel, meets Woodstock. Yeah, for them, this is they look forward to it all year. Yeah. I want to go. It looks fun. Uh, cat, I mean, really, cat you know is what? A good sport. Cat is not crowded. Cat, you go to fish concerts. I do. Right? You love this kind of thing. <laughs> I don't even like fish. And last time I was in a room where there was like eleven hippies, and I was like, I don't. Maybe I'm too old for this. <laughs> but what these rich people are doing is they're appropriating dirty hippie culture. They're taking the parts of it they, they like, which is the music and the drugs, and then they're, you know, not having to deal with the other major parts of it, which are like having scabies or like intestinal <laughs> worms because you had to eat, you didn't have the private chef, you had to eat the grilled meat that your, that tre Trek, what's his face, left yeah. in the sun and then gave to you. He goes there every year, Trek. I'm oh. so shocked by that. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, Kevin, I bet you, you know, this seems like your kind of scene. <laughs> No. No? <laughs> no. Well, look, you'd look the part. If you were there, they would act like you were welcome. They I wouldn't know. realize what you are. I look like I was kicked out of Duran Duran. <laughs> <laughs> but I, see, I think... Hey, it's Simon. <laughs> I think Burning Man has, has jumped the shark to the point... Like, it's now this party where you can walk around naked and bump into your parents naked. Oh, like, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's just... It's like Facebook. It's become Facebook. Go, hey, Auntie, what are you doing here? That sort of thing. Yeah. It's over. It's done. The cool oh, kids need to move rides. on. I like rides. I love rides. Look at the rides. That's what people say, though. The, uh, Anthony, everyone yeah. always says, they say, it's, it's over. Yeah. This thing jumped the shark. But the She's thing is, every year it gets bigger. No, it gets bigger and bigger. This is my nightmare. Like, everything from it being in the desert to the people around it. It's like this mix between a Ren Fair and a dead show and one of those HBO well, real no, sex episodes like, yeah, where they play the bongos naked themselves. with their friends. Yeah. I have no interest in, in doing this. And the fact that it's gotten more commercialized just makes it even worse. Like, I can understand some nuts like Manson and his family being out in the desert having a little fun, but this totally is just so thing. forced. Yeah. Well, that's it. The, it's, it's commercialized. Totally it's thing. just forced. But it's anti-commercial still. So you can't buy things. You can't go to a stand and buy a pretzel. You have to well, go to... Well, it's anti-American, isn't it? You have to have it flown in by your private jet. Or yeah. the idea of it is that you barter. So if you have some type of skill, like say you're really good at juggling, you go and you juggle for the... Uh, I don't know. I don't <laughs> oh know. what. God, does this even sound worse than I thought it was. Oh, it's about geez. trade. Sorry, you Barbara. guys hate fun. I'm so sorry. <laughs> there was an orgy invitation I saw that men, single men, could not go. So in other words, you could go if you had a companion. More discrimination well, against single men. That's right. There you go. It's, but Kat, okay. can you deal with the lack of... I think of... every orgy is allowed to set its own rules. But it's kind of what it's about. Kat, you need to get out You there. like to wash your hair, though, Kat, don't you? Could you deal with the lack of showers? I like to wash my hair, but it doesn't mean I always do it. Oh. I mean, on my days off. If I was in the desert... 
I, I would you, look terrible. I, I want you to it. do. I, I want you to go and you you, you take video. You take get to go out there for the Gutfeld show. They'll pay for your. Greg there. will pay for your ticket, won't he? I don't think he would. I think he will. Greg, we don't come. Greg, buy her a ticket to Burning Man for God's <laughs> sake. If he sake. sees this, he's gonna find. He'll, she'll bring you back some <laughs> some products. We'd all come coming back. up. We'd all come back to looking like Hillary after that. Everyone's favorite on I'd probably be dead in like 12 hours. Andy's next. Oh, and don't forget the Red Eye Podcast is back. Subscribe on iTunes and on FoxNewsRadio.com.